Close to joining us now with more on how the technology is going to work. Veronica, good morning. Hey, good morning, Mark. Well, this is very special. It's a very special material that's mixed with water to make this sort of kind of spray. Now, it's that spray that researchers here at the University of Arizona are hoping helps settle some dust that we see, especially once those drier conditions come around and, of course, that wind. Now, we do have some video of what this kind of looks like on some samples. The video shows the impact the spray has on some soil samples, to be exact. Now, you can see one sample looks more like normal dirt, while the other one looks a little bit more damp. Now what researchers found was with the help of this spray, dirt can stay damp for more than two months and that's really the key here. Now with minimizing dust in the air, they are really hoping that that spray helps keep everything down. Now Minkyu Kim, he was the lead behind this research. His goal of course to make something that would help the dirt stay wetter longer. So I was saying like maybe I can just use this material and see whether they can they can replace or they can help to enhance the wetting condition even better than water. Now Kim started this research after hearing mining companies here in southern Arizona were having some air pollution issues. Now he's hoping to get this invention out to any place that's filled with dust. That does include some highways here in southern Arizona. We know those can get pretty active once those winds start picking up. Now the spray, it's not quite on the market just yet. Kim, as well as his startup, which is called Clean Earth Tech, they're still going through the process. They're still testing the spray out. They want to make sure it is good to go. We do know that it is healthy to be around humans. So they're still trying to finish up that process before they get the spray out on the market. For now, we're live at the University of Arizona. Veronica Costa, Kega 9 on your side. All right, Veronica, thanks a lot. Appreciate it. You know, there's still some concern about possible sanctions against Sean Miller and the basketball program. The U of A did confirm to Kega 9 that the NCAA is investigating the program. The program has been under scrutiny, as you know, since the arrest and the sentencing of assistant coach Book Richardson on federal bribery charges. He's scheduled to begin serving a three-month sentence coming up July 